Sri Lanka is still on high alert as the country's prime minister says there are currently active threats throughout the country, adding there are still people on the run with explosives. This comes after hundreds of civilians were killed in coordinated bombings in the country on Easter Sunday. RT correspondent Ashley Banks has the latest. According to a Sri Lankan government official, the coordinated suicide bombings that took place in Sri Lanka on Easter Sunday, killing more than 320 people, were carried out in retaliation for last month's mass shooting at mosque in New Zealand. This was a planned attack. We have received information that Islamic terrorists have attacked here as a counterattack for the attack in the Christchurch mosque. But we are continuing investigations. Sri Lankan officials are claiming the attacks were carried out by a radical Islam group identified as National Tawhid Jamaat. That group has not yet claimed responsibility. However, ISIS has claimed responsibility for Sunday's attack. The terrorist group put out this statement through its news agency saying, quote, the attackers who targeted citizens of the anti-ISIS coalition state members and Christians in Sri Lanka the day before yesterday were fighters of the Islamic State. At this time, there is no evidence to support its claim and officials say there's no direct evidence showing the terror group was involved. So far, police in Sri Lanka have arrested 40 suspects and connection to Sunday's bombings, including a driver of a van allegedly used by the suicide bombers and the owner of a house where some of the suspects lived. Most of those arrested are Sri Lankans, but police are looking to see if any foreigners were involved. Now, officials say these bombings could have been avoided weeks leading up to the attacks. Some members of the Sri Lankan government received intelligence reports from international agencies indicating some parts of Sri Lanka could be targeted by terrorists. LA Times journalist Shashank Bengali took to Twitter saying, quote, the current government must answer for this. The intelligence was there. Nothing was done. In this kind of crisis, we can only blame the government. At this time, Sri Lanka's health minister is calling for the top police official to resign for failing to stop the attacks. Reporting in the newsroom, Ashley Banks, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.